Fox News contributor Jessica Tarlow from the Independent Women's Forum, Patrice Lee and Wuka, and American Majority CEO Ned Ryan. Ned, um, that's a classic case of getting it wrong, which we all do. It can happen. It's never happened to me, but uh -oh. well, no, but you know what I'm saying. The, uh, right. Just admit it. Right. No, I mean, I, I just look at this. If the liberals and the mainstream media, and excuse my redundancy, want to defend MS-13 and Hamas, knock yourselves out. But it's also why Trump's going to get reelected by a wider margin in 2020. And I think the thing that, that we saw, Neil, is this. When they're so blatant in a situation like this, they're only feeding the belief that they are the opposition party, that they are fake news, and they want us to take them seriously. But when they're so cavalier with the truth and with the facts and won't, address it and say we were wrong, they're just doing irreparable harm to the, whatever reputation uh, and credibility they might have left. And uh, honestly, what I want to see them do, Neil, is this, just drop the masquerade. I know a lot of you are just political operatives acting as opinionists. Just be honest about it. I want a free press, Neil. I also want an honest press. I want them to be honest about who they are and at least try to be honest with the facts. Or just say, look, we got it wrong. Uh, and that's possible. It was intentional. Uh, Jessica, what do you think of that? Well, I actually fell victim to this this morning when I was on America's Newsroom, and the tweet that I sent out talking about my segment misidentified the president's comments. I took it down and put up something that better reflected my opinion on this, which is that, yes, he was speaking about MS-13 there, but what he's doing is what he usually does, which is conflating issues. If you look at the Customs and Border Patrol numbers, only 0.02% of unaccompanied minors who have entered this country have ever been affiliated with MS-13. So he's taking something, again, which is terrible, and I understand if you have lost a loved one or know someone who has, you can never get them back. And I genuinely feel for those families, but he's taking a tiny percentage of the population and an even tinier percentage of the illegal immigrant population and using his broad brush, no, like no, the criminals the broad, and rapists. The brush applied only to those it's, MS-30, whatever you make of no, their percentage. No, and he said they're coming in and out. They're not. He they're, did not call all illegals oh, animals, I, right? No, I... That's, that's what it, I, that's why it, I that's led with I that so I Patrice made a mistake. Patrice didn't even come Patrice, close to conflating fine, it. I, I, I don't even want to get in the conflation. I know she makes a good one there, and I understand a lot of people say, well, you're, you're, you're really trying to talk about the ravages of illegal immigration by saying they're all MS-13 members. I've heard that before, but to treat, Patrice, my issue with this is get your facts right. And that's the bottom line with this story. I mean, kudos to the AP for actually correcting and saying that they were incorrect in their tweet last night. But I haven't seen any corrections coming out from folks like Andrea Mitchell, who doubled down by retweeting uh, comments that, you know, this is, you don't just look at the words, you look at the spirit. I, I think it's really uh, sad when I hear progressives conflate legal immigrants with illegal immigrants. As a legal immigrant who is also a naturalized citizen, I recognize that there are many people who come to this country who do so legally and who do so in the right way. Way and, are, and are not here, uh, you know, under sinister motives. And I hate when I'm when you know people use illegal and illegal immigrants as, and paint the paint us all in the same way. I don't think the president was doing that in this case, and I'm glad he he uh, he uh, clarified his comments. But it was wrong for the media to run with it as though he's saying all immigrants or even all illegal immigrants are are are, 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 are animals. Mm -hmm. Net? He's kind of said that before Neil. with the criminals and Neil, rapists. Well, They're not no. sending us but their it, best. Not this time, Jessica. No, not but this, when this, Patrice this says, I'm glad he got to clarify. This moment was not this, about that. You might have a legitimate need to start not. saying, you know, conflating issues. Yeah, maybe. But on, on the issue of whether he called these people animals, it, that was wrong. Exactly. That was wrong. This and I was, think that's the one thing that you just have to step back and see for what it is. That's, that's right. all I'm saying then. Neil, but, but, Neil, this was not an honest mistake. I'm sorry. After things become systematic, and we have seen this repeatedly with the mainstream media and Trump, these aren't a series of honest mistakes. These are intentional. And at some point, I think we just have to be honest about the fact and just accept the fact they are the opposition party. These are not honest mistakes. These are intentional. Well, right. and in Go ahead, I would just say it, it undermines the media. I mean, 94 percent of Americans say that there is biased reporting in, in stories that should be um, unbiased. There's a reason why. And I think this is just another example of that. All right. Exactly. Well, I hope it's an isolated case. We'll see. Guys, thank you all very, very much. In thank the meantime, you.